Hey everyone, welcome back, and we're going to talk about for in loops. So this will be part one. A for in statement, which I'm going to call a loop every single time except for right now, allows us to loop over the properties of an object. So if you remember, an object is a collection of properties. Properties have keys and values. Uh, it's not usually a good idea to use a for in loop on an array or a string, but you can. Um, so here's the syntax for a for in loop, relatively similar to a for loop. For, here will be a variable declaration and it's going to assign itself to all of the keys in the object, and then this is the statement that's going to operate per each iteration, which again will iterate once per each property in the object. So, this is the case where we want to do something or look at all the properties in an object, so we'll consider this being, you know, loop over the object, iterate over the object, those basically all mean the same thing. So here's an example of it actually in play. So variable key, this was the variable declaration part, this is the object over which we want to iterate. And then we're going to log a couple things to the console just to give a good idea of what's going on here. So if we run this, uh, missing a comma. Okay, so the key is A and the value is 1. And if you recall, the whole reason that we did so much work on objects with keys that are variables is because eventually you'll get to this and You'll want to say object.key, but you can't. If you say object.key, we're going to get undefined for every one of them because we don't have a key that's actually called key. So with that in mind, let's talk about uh, some slightly more, I don't want to say complicated, but we just put some variables in place. Um, so our ice cream is going to be an object. Flavor is going to be strawberry cheesecake. Supporting cast is a waffle cone. Uh, the price is 2.5, which I suppose means dollars. And then ice cream for ice cream is true. So uh, we're naming our variable named oddly to make a point. And the idea here is that it's the same as any kind of variable declaration. Provided that we name it consistently, it doesn't matter what we call it. You don't have to say key. Some people really like to say prop. I'm a fan of naming it whatever the keys are likely to be, if I know, and if I don't know, I'll name it key. So let's run this again, just to prove our point. Flavor. Strawberry cheesecake, supporting cast, waffle cone, price 2.5, ice cream, true. Excellent. And, okay, cool. So I guess that's it. So that's all for our uh, for in loop syntax. Um, in the next couple of lessons, we'll go over a couple things you can do uh, with for in loops. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.